There we go. Sherry Williams Pinnell hopes the words she's typing will tell a true story about what life was like for African Americans in Milwaukee back in the late 1950s. She's writing a play set in Bronzeville, Milwaukee's segregated African American neighborhood back in the day when it had an arts and entertainment scene that attracted blacks and whites alike. Milwaukee's first stage theater group commissioned the play. The playwright is basing her story on interviews with people who grew up in Bronzeville. I was born in 54, mm -hmm. so, but from, um, I, t I was talking to my dad and, um, and told him, you know, what was going on and he said that the biggest comfort zone comfort that they felt mm -hmm. was in Bronzeville and they were happy with it. I mean, to the point where we're going to make the best of this situation. Okay. We know that we're, this is not always going to be this way, okay. but while it's, while we're here, mm -hmm. we're going to thrive. Okay. And I think the word thrive, you know, thrive. He, they, they, you know, we thrive, we're going to thrive. We're not going to be put down. And I think the other thing that he said was, and I even remember this in the 50s, how clean it was, how oh, everybody oh, kept how everything safe. Safe. safe and clean. clean yes. it, was a, it was a type of respect that we had, we had for one another, especially the adults and the elderly mm -hmm. and so on. It was just, it was, it was just respect. I, I know my mom, uh, after my father had died, so my mom, she was working late. We, we know that when we get home from school, we know we didn't have to be hungry. Cause the lady downstairs fed us, mm -hmm. but she looked out for us and mm -hmm. things like that. And that's that's what the, that was that was Bonfield. The play tells the story of a young man who commits a petty theft, and the response of his family and the community, a community rich in relationships. When you talk about the village, this truly was the village. And so there was a sense of um, accountability. Accountability as a parent, as a child, as a student, as a professional person, whatever your job was. So um, many ways for you to est uh, establish relationships with others in your community. When I finish this play and if the direction that it's going and I believe the message that I want to share, people will see that it almost sounds like Camelot. There was a time where people had a lot of pride in themselves. They uplifted one another, supported one another, had a real sense of community. A time before the headlines that we're reading now. From all of the elders I've spoken with, they, they wax poetic. It was a beautiful time. I believe if we study this aspect of our history, then maybe we'll be inspired to live differently, to be more thoughtful towards one another, and to know that our history didn't begin with the last uh, news broadcast, but it goes back further, and there's a lot of beauty there. Let's celebrate what is beautiful. 
was just common. Fine. And no doors, you didn't have locked right. doors then. No doors were locked. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could just go in. If you went in somebody's house, you leave a note. You say, I got some sugar. Yeah, I got, <laughs> yeah you, you did. did. You did. I got some sugar. You know, I got some flour. I got a cup of flour. You just sign your name. And we had police who really identified with the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And if you if you had a candy bar, uh, ice cream cone, mm -hmm. and you drop the wrapper on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. they would let you get all the way halfway down the bottom. Hey, son, young man, call you all the way back, make you pick it up, walk it over to the to the receptacle, and put it in. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess you know with with that kind of attention. Mm -hmm. In that era, mm -hmm. it, it makes for a real good finished product. The city of Milwaukee bulldozed large parts of Bronzeville, starting in the 1940s for public housing and urban renewal, and then again in the 1960s to build the expressway we now know as I-43. In her play, Sherry Williams Pinnell hopes to recapture some of the magic of Bronzeville. But there's still a lot of work to do before the play can be brought to the stage. Like all artists, she's just a little bit apprehensive, and probably she'll stay that way until the play is finally presented to the public. Yes, I get a little nervous because I love it. I, I, love, I, I love the story. I, it's the child. I love the child. <laughs> 